Hello, welcome back if you are an oldie but goldie. If you are new, my name is Louise Petland. I'm a women's fiction author. Oh, just holding my new book in my hands. This book is out now. If you see it, you should get it. It is Wild About the Girl. It is excellent. It's women's fiction. It's very fun. Bit of an emotional roller coaster though, we'll say. Um, and this week I'm on book tour, so I'm doing Primark week on my channel. I mean, if you can't do a video about Primark every single day, on a week when you are on book tour, when can you? I know that there's no good link, I know this, but I thought it'd be a really good idea to pre-record a load of videos and make loads of extra work for myself editing and uploading, okay? So today is Wednesday and today is Disney Day! Uh, 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 uh. That's not like a national thing, um, it's, it's just the day I've chosen. I'm wearing the first thing and this is a top from Primark, obviously. Uh, it says mini and it has tassels. I will say though, I'm not in love with the tassel positioning. I didn't really think this through when I bought it. It's a bit tip tassels and I'm not sure about it. Um, it was eight pounds. Would I buy it again? No. It doesn't come up very high. I've got this like tucked into a skirt. Um, but if you like t-shirts for like jeans and to like go, out, like that aren't crop tops, I'm not sure about this one. But I wanted to wear something Disney for the video. These also are from Primark a while ago. I'm going to go through the bag of goodies. Um, and I'm excited about it. There's a bit of a crossover between the kids stuff, which is going up on Kids Day is Thursday, so tomorrow. So there is some children's things in here that are Disney. But I was like, do I put these in kids? Do I put them in Disney? I don't know. This though, no, no doubt where this goes, in Disney. This is a genie lamp teapot. It was on sale. It, this says £10 here, but I think we got it in the sales section. It was the last one left. I have been debating whether to buy this since seeing Emma from Brummy Mummy of Two have one of these displayed very beautifully on her wooden shelves. And I've been in the shops and some of them have been broken or I've thought, no, no, I'll leave it. But then I thought, no, now's my time. I'm going to buy it and display it somewhere in my house. And it doesn't look overtly Disney. Just looks like a nice display thing. I'm going to put this in my fancy lounge. So I have Aladdin's lamp. I'm hoping to rub it and get all my wishes. I don't know fully what I was thinking when I bought this, except that it's a really big mug. Um, and I know that I didn't need this, but I thought that it was fun. And come Christmas, when I have hot chocolates with cream, that it would be nice. Looking back over my shoulder, it was potentially a waste of six pounds. I might keep it and gift it, probably that one. Uh, but if you are looking for a Buzz Lightyear mug, Primark's the place to get one. For my doodles, my Darcy girl, two little nail varnishes, both with stickers. Do they have, yes, little stickers and transfers. And they were one pound each. Um, and I'm gonna save those for something like a little reward for her or a rainy day pick me up or something like that. For Pearl, I bought these for when we go away, when we go on holiday. They were £4 and they are just little silver mini trainers. And I think they are just so cute. Excuse the noise, it's the neighbours and we've got the windows open because it is hot. My neighbours have gone inside now. I don't know where I got to before I had to turn my camera off. Um, but I was showing you these little trainers, if you can call them trainers, that I bought for Pearl. She's not actually walking at the moment, she's not even standing independently, but sometimes, oh no, I just knocked off, sorry, a bit dirty at the top, um, sometimes she'll sort of put a bit of weight on her legs, and by the time we go to Disney, she will be nine months old, so I would imagine that she'll be like doing a bit more by then, so I just thought these were a super cute. So this is going to sound a bit excessive, but I am planning a Disney trip in 2020, as well as my one in 2018, and we're taking our whole family, like my aunties and my cousins and blah blah blah, and every month we're going to be having Disney movie nights. So I bought these things, um, these are just plastic surahs with like obviously Mickey's head on the top there, I hope that's focused for you, sorry if it's not, and then these bowls to put like nuts and nibbles and crispy bits and olives and whatnot in. I just thought they were super fun, £2.50 and £5. Um, oh, I've just noticed that some of them are mini ones because look, they've got a little bow on them. I just thought they were nice little bits of homeware. A Disney purse that's not too Disney. Um, Primark have a lot of Disney purses and some of them for me are just a bit too obviously Disney. Says the woman with floral Disney ears on. But I liked this because it was only this bit Disney. 
um, and this is really nice and big so when we go away and we have like dollars and travel documents and all of that sort of stuff um, it can go in there and this was six pounds talking of not wanting things obviously Disney, I bought this obviously Disney uh, vanity set for £10 and this is for the children so they're going to share a case, oh my god I just noticed that the little like pull thing here is Mickey Mouse as well um, and there's a clear one, Una Memento, so there's a clear one here which is so handy because you can see everything in it and I can put all their little like shampoos and their toiletries that they both have together and then this one I'm thinking that I might use for like a little um, what's it called first aid kit and all the bits and bobs that we need and then this one I'm going to give to Darcy as her little pocket money purse so for £10 for all three of those I thought that was pretty good. I also bought, and I don't have it to hand because I've been using it, one of these but that was Belle and it was clear and this was rose goldy coloured on the outside and then on the inside came this which isn't something that I'm like mad for but I was like that would be handy and then also it had this little um, little tiny coin purse with it which I thought was really cute um, and either me or Darcy will use it and I think that was probably about the same price too. For three pounds this I don't know what I was thinking. It's one of those things that's like going to be really awkward to use because you can only get a card or a pass or like an Oyster card. I don't even live in London, don't have an Oyster card or something like that in it. But I bought it and I'll be damned if I don't find a way to use it. This next item, I wasn't sure whether I should put in the Disney haul or the beauty haul, but it's Disney lashes. These are Princess Ariel's lashes, adhesive not included. Um, and they come in these little packs, they're £2, perfect for the Disney fan who wants to feel fluttery in the les yeux department, like I do. Now you might think that this is a pack of socks, a pack of Mickey and Minnie Mouse socks for £2.50, but you'd be wrong, because they're shoe liners. So I've got a pack of shoe liners, I thought who doesn't need shoe liners when they're wearing trainers, and they might as well be Disney ones. We've got Minnie and Mickey there. Just Mickey, there. And then our queen, Minnie, there. So if you wanted, you could mix and match. I won't mix and match, I don't like to live on the edge like that. I just like to match. The next few bits, I wasn't sure if they should go in the children's one or this one, but I put them in this one, and they are clothes. Um, this is seven pounds, and this is actually for a two to three year old, but I thought it was so freaking cute that it has gone in this um it's a little tiny shorts play suit in very thin denim like chambray material and i thought i'm going to save this for when pearl is toddling around i just love it it's one of those things that i don't think you would necessarily have to wear to disney i think you could wear that anywhere um it's not like obvious it is obviously disney because it has these on but from far away it just looks like a pattern and i think that is so lovely and that is seven pounds to actually wear at disney oh hi stop being so adorable no i will not look at that isn't that just the happiest little baby grow you've ever seen in your entire life yes it is um that's from the disney baby range and that was five pounds and that will do her a whole outfit again for when we go in october i got her this little um body suit and this was seven pounds um and it has the Minnie mouse embroidery just there and then just a little picture on the bottom and I thought that again will do for a whole outfit it's got the poppers at the bottom as well which is handy um, she could potentially even wear that to travel in okay this next item I picked up in the sale it's well it is Disney because it's Star Wars and Star Wars own Disney or something to do with Disney it was £8 down to £3 because the box is damaged but it's this guy oh well, who is this guy C3PO um, and my cousin Andrew loves Star Wars, so I picked this up, it's it's actually a money box, I didn't realise I thought it was just an ornament, I picked this up for him because I was like, it's £3, it'll make him smile, I like it a lot. Da da, Jim Jam bottoms, Aladdin ones, I couldn't see a top that goes with these, um, they're cuffed at the bottom, oh hey, uh, light blue at the top, they've got the genie's lamp on them, and they came to £8. I couldn't see a top that went with these. I might go back and have a look. If it's just a t-shirt with a great big picture of the genie on, I probably won't get it. I would just wear these with like a navy blue cami top. 
um, and I think they're really nice. I haven't tried them on yet, but they look nice. We're down to our last three things, and that is a little fold-out bag. These are so handy to have when you are travelling, especially if you're travelling with children. Um, they're just handy to put in your bag, and if you don't use them, they're lightweight, they don't take up space, but if ever you need another bag, for like wet clothes or dirty clothes, or you've bought things, you've got a bag, um, and this was £2. I also picked up, oh, sorry about my neighbours, um, for £3, these really, really cute little LED lights with, if you can see, there we go, the bulbs are Mickey head shaped for £3. And I think last, but by no means least, sunglasses for Darcy. I cannot wait to get a picture of her in these. Um, they were £2. They look like this. I would love these in adult. I just think they are so, so cute and also handy to have sunglasses whilst you're away. Okie dokie, I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Tomorrow's uh, Disney video is going to be kids things. I picked up some lovely bits for Darcy and Pearl, so do check back tomorrow at 6pm to watch that. Also, do check out to see if my tour is coming anywhere near you. It's in full swing at the moment, but there's still time to come along and be involved. And if you see my book in the shops, don't forget to take a picture of it and tweet it to me, or better yet, just buy it. <laughs> okay, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!